What I want to do in this video is show you a very cool video and then pose a question. But I want to make sure that the video, everything's up and up on the in terms of the copyright laws. So the video I'm going to show you is from a show called The Fifth Gear that appears on Channel 5, I believe, in the United Kingdom. And I think I'm OK on good copyright grounds to claim fair use here, because obviously the point of this, I'm going to ask a math question about the video that we're going to see. And so fair use laws, the purpose and character of use, including whether such as a commercial nature or nonprofit educational purposes. We are definitely the latter, nonprofit educational purposes. We are actually the we, we aren't trying to in any way replace the work being used. I'm just going to show a little snippet of it to, so we can use it as the basis for a problem. And then this is kind of the meat of fair use law. Reviewer may fairly cite largely from the original work if his design if his design be really and truly to use the passages for the purpose of fair and reasonable criticism, in this case, it's fair and reasonable math problem or physics problem. On the other hand, it is as clear that if he thus cites the most important parts of the work with the view not to criticize but to super supersede the use of the original work and substitute the review for it, such will such a use will be deemed in law a piracy. So in no way do I want to supersede it. You should go look it up. You should watch the show. This is not good enough. I'm just I don't even have the sound on and it's going to be a little small little window here where I'm just going to show this really really the the the, the part where they actually do a loop de loop. Now with that out of the way, this is where you can find more information about Fifth Gear which is on channel 5. Now let me actually show you the video. And I'm going to have the sound down. And so this is the video right over here. And it's a pretty neat video. This guy is going to attempt to do a loop de loop and he's actually going to succeed at doing the loop de loop. And what I want you to do and the question I want you to pose is look at this video and get a stopwatch and get or get whatever else you need out, a ruler or whatever else you might need to do and try to figure out what we're going to do two things. We're going to figure out what the minimum velocity that the car needs to complete the loop de loop and we're also going to try to figure out what his actual velocity was over the course of the loop de loop. So let's actually just watch this video. So there he goes, he's starting, he's accelerating to it looks like he's just crossed almost he's pushing almost 40 miles an hour. At least I'm assuming that was miles per hour. This is a British show. And then he hits he hits the loop de loop and then he finishes it and he's done. So let's think about for the next video, let's think about if we can figure out what the minimum, what the minimum uh, velocity, or I should say, the magnitude of velocity or speed had to be to actually complete the loop right over here, and then we can actually get a stopwatch later on to figure out what his average velocity actually was.